Zeus! Come! CART is an organization, we're a non-profit charitable society and um, we train and maintain a network of uh, highly efficient avalanche rescue dog teams throughout the mountainous regions of Western Canada and our goal is to save the avalanche victim. <laughs> Trained dogs are a, a, an effective tool for avalanche search and rescue because of their incredible sense of smell and because they can cover such a, a large area in a short amount of time. Just come! They're particularly of use where uh, we're searching an avalanche where we're not sure if somebody's involved. Uh, there'll be tracks in the vicinity um, and nobody's witnessed it. So with traditional searching uh, tools, we'll be search the area with an avalanche transceiver and if there's no beacon, then our only hope for, uh, for finding a person buried is with the dog. I've been with Carta for about 25 years now. Just always had an interest in working dogs and um, they love working. Zeus is a three-year-old black Labrador retriever, purebred, and uh, he's been operational for the last two winters. Henry, follow. Uh, my dad was involved with search and rescue dogs when I was a child, so that kind of picked an, piqued an early interest in search and rescue dogs for me. Speak. Speak. <laughs> Henry is a purebred border collie. He came from a breeder in Ontario. Typically, we have lots of golden retrievers, lots of Labradors, few border collies, lots of German shepherds. But basically, we're all looking for dogs that come from working lines. They're part of our family. They come home with us. They stay with us at night. Um, they they generally go everywhere we do, and they're trained to travel by any conceivable means of transport, whether. Uh, whether they're running while we're skiing between our legs, on a skidoo, inside a toboggan, in a helicopter, so that um, they're already familiar with that. <laughs> Training with the dogs is an ongoing process. Uh, every day we train with the dogs, whether it's uh, short, short, fun obedience sessions, or a minimum once a week we do uh, sessions where they're um, actual search training. It's his job to make the indication. So what we're looking for is a change in the dog's body language. And it's my job as his handler to recognize that change in the body language. Now it could be a, just a subtle little turn of the head, or it might be a full on head down, bum up, dig, 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 which is pretty easy, right? The reward at the end of the find is a, a game of tug of war with whatever they found. If it's a person, they'll play a, tug, a game of tug of war with the person, or if it's a, if it's a piece of a sweater, when they dig it up, then we, we play a game of tug of war with them. And in the end, they win the game. The thing I love the most about being a member of CART is the opportunity to work with the dogs and uh, be with them 24-7 while I'm working and at home. Hey, what a good dog you are. What really gets me up in the morning is the possibility that one day the relationship, the team that I form with my dog could save a human life. Um, that's really the nuts and bolts of this whole thing. Yeah.